If it's standing in front of you, staring in the face, and it's so innumerable, so immeasurable, that you can't see the end of it, it's time for you to start praising. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. I said it last week under the anointing. I'm going to say it this week because it needs to be delivered with power. You will not be God's first impossible. Yeah. Amen. 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 Nothing is impossible yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. for your heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. So we say no thing. No, no, thing. Thing. no, no thing. thing. No Praise thing. Lord. Well, give somebody a handshake. Some slap. Say hello. Praise God forever. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. 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 Good Glory to God. Glory to God. You also need thank you, Holy Ghost. You need faith buddies. Yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. It might be for me. You need faith buddies. You need somebody that you can call anytime, text anytime, and say, man, I'm in it. And they don't need an explanation. Right. Come on. They just say, now I'm in your corner. Yeah. Now I'm fighting with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. See, uh, we, like I say, uh, we, we uh, had to send Zeus over to, what do they say? Uh, what's that? The, the rainbow bridge. The rainbow bridge. Everybody talking about the rainbow. I don't know what it is. But. Anyways, praise the Lord. And uh, so when I'm going through difficulty and crisis, I reach out to a guy. And, uh, I said, yeah, we had to send the dog off today. And he called me up immediately and said, are you sitting in your chair crying like a little? Help <laughs> 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 me put it into perspective. Yeah. Right? And then in the middle of worship, I turn around, and there he is. <laughs> Listen to me. Right? What's it now? 25? 26? Long time. It's been a long time. We both had a lot more hair, and it was a lot more color. Smaller belly. <laughs> no belly. Well, that's not true. He had no belly. <laughs> Amen. But every challenge that I have gone through, every difficulty, that guy shows up. Amen. 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 You need to have a faith buddy. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Don't go through difficulty, challenge, crisis alone. Right. Amen. Yep. We were ministering to a couple last night. I haven't seen them in a long time. They invited us over for dinner. And I began to explain to them the concept and the notion of wolf snacks. Mm -hmm. Right? You see, there's safety in numbers. That, that applies to Christians as well. Yeah. If one Amen. will drive a thousand off, right. and two, ten thousand, yeah. well then how many? Are you following me? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, I have always been very, very careful, uh, not only as a minister, but as a pastor, not to give you the space to rehearse your problem. Right, yeah. Let me tell you how it started back in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> and then you give me blow by blow. From 86 to 2022. And what it tells me, as a minister, is that you have been rehearsing it. Mm -hmm. And you've been going over it. And everything that's gone wrong. And every challenge. And every difficulty. And we were experiencing that last night. Mm -hmm. uh, as we were sitting at the dinner table. And finally looked at her and said to her, You don't want to be a wolf snack. Right. And she went, I said, You know, an independent sheep. <laughs> you know, I can handle this myself kind of a sheep. <laughs> you know, I got this. Come on. Right. I said, I call those types of sheep wolf snacks. The 99 are all gathered over here and safe. Right? Mm -hmm. right? And then there's that one that says, oh, I don't, I'm not far. I'm going my own way. I don't need anybody. Mm. Somebody say wolf snack. Wolf yeah. snack. Right? We know this from nature that that's exactly who wolves look for. Right. The one that's out there by themselves. Right. Solitary. No help to be had. Good, yeah. Right? Now, I have actually um, uh, seen this video recently, and it's just coming up in my spirit, so I'll share it with you, about the safety in numbers. So here's a bunch of chickens. Now, we all know the reputation and the character of chickens, right? <laughs> There's a reason why they call them chickens. They look like a chicken. They act like a chicken. They can only be... A chicken, right? 
and, and the characterization of you look at them wrong and yeah. <laughs> off they go. You run out of the wrong way, off they go. But here was a brood, how'd I do? Of chickens. There was like 12 of them. They had all formed a circle around the snake. Yeah. Yeah. You know who won, right? It wasn't the snake. Nope. <laughs> Why? Outnumbered. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. By chickens. Yeah. Go ahead. Look at your neighbor and cluck a little bit. <laughs> I'm not clucking. <laughs> what do I look like to you? You look like a wolf snack. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. So now, one more illustration. You ready? If you choose to fight your adversary in his environment, he will whip you every time. Yep. Yep. What do I mean? Your enemy comes in the mind, the will, and the emotions. You need to come out on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Come on. Are you listening to me? Yeah. And will try to keep you trapped in the arena, specifically of your emotions. Right. Oh, it never works out for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've tried, and i tried, and i tried. And just Are you with me? Yes. If you keep, if he keeps you in the realm of your emotions, if he keeps you in the realm of your mind, if he keeps you in the realm of your body, what you see, hear, feel, and taste, he will whip you every single time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, gotta get him out of hell. Now. If you keep your adversary in the arena of faith, right. you will whip him. Mm. Every Amen. single Amen. time. Not sometimes. Yep. Every single time. So they have this wonderful video that I saw of a hawk who had grabbed the rattlesnake. Mm. Why? Because he was hungry. <laughs> and he took off with the rattlesnake in his talons. The snake couldn't fight because he was out of his environment. Right. Right. You're the you're the hawk. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You take him into your arena. Yeah, right. Yeah. You take him where you're comfortable. Ah, yeah. uh, you, you have to you have to you have to help me minister, mm. right? This is why this is why Friday is so important. You've got to take him to the arena that you're more comfortable right. in. You go, I'm more comfortable in my body, and that's the problem. Yeah. Right. You're so used to listening to your body mm -hmm. yeah. dictating truth to you. Right. That you don't take your adversary into the realm that you should be in charge right. of because you are in charge Amen. of. You were created in a higher order than Satan. Right. Yeah. Spiritually speaking, True. you're over him. Right. And Jesus defeated him. We just celebrated the resurrection. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So lift your adversary into the environment that you're supposed to fight in, which is the arena of faith. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And you will whip him every day. Single. Amen. 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 Right. Now, thanks be to God who sometimes leads me to try and fail. Always. Always. always leads me to. Always. Yes. Always leads me to. Not sometimes. Always leads me to try and Who am I talking to this morning? Yes. Always leads always. me to try and Oh, I may not look like much right now. I might look like it's all on fire. It's all been burned out. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, it's not over. Right. Right. It's not over. Yeah. He didn't say it's over. If I can, listen, if I can quote Rocky Balboa, that great yeah. theologian, <laughs> Ayo Tommy. Tommy, I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> one more round. Look at your neighbor say it. One more round. One more round. Are you ready? All right. Hallelujah. Well, why don't you turn around and wave to our E family out there. We love you, but you should be here. Yeah. Amen. At 28 Chapel Street. You should get under this corporate anointing. Yeah. Amen. Because there's something that's going to be ministered to this morning. Amen. That um, will effectively change you forever. Right. Yeah. 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 That's right. What? That's kind of arrogant. Well, no, no. In case you thought it was me, that's not it. Mm -hmm. We're about to minister the word of gospel. <laughs> yep. yes. And it will change you forever. Yeah. yeah. You'll never be the same after this morning. Right. Yeah. And that's why you need to come join us and get under this corporate anointing. Now, I am believing God that even through this medium of television and social media, that the Word of God is going to minister to you right there on your couch. And Big John, you get your feet off that desk. Everybody turn to Big John and say, get your feet off the desk. 
Hallelujah. Um, uh, the Word of God, according to the Word of God, is alive. Yep. It is active. Amen. And it's powerful. Yep. Amen. And it's capable of changing your physical body. Right. It's capable of changing your circumstances. And listen to me. It is capable of bending your will and your emotions to the will of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Are you listening? Yeah. Yes. We are not to be emotion-led. Right. Amen. How many times have you heard me sing it to you? Feelings. Nothing right. other than. We're not to be feeling-led. Right. We're to be spirit right. led. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So somebody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. We're going to strap in. I thought I was finished with expectation until I began meditating this week. I've got one more for you. This is the knockout blow. Oh, you're laughing. This is the knockout blow. You know, for us? No. For your adversary. Yeah. Amen. Right? We've started this year all. Come on. Who's been with us? Luke chapter 5, Watch where out. Jesus says, Launch out. Launch out. Get out into that deep water. Get out where you're only relying on Him. Because mm -hmm. out in the deep water is where you're going to find your miracle. Amen. Out in the deep water is where you're going to find your deliverance. Out in the deep water right. is where you're going to get that all that, that God has for you. Now, we can play patty cakes on the shores. We can stay there. We can splash a little water each other. And this is fun. This and this cool. But your adversary, I can assure you, has another plan for your life. Yeah. Are you listening to me this morning? Amen. Jesus said it like this in John 10.10. 10, the thief. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That is his function. That's what he wants. And as a matter of fact, as far as he's concerned, you are a representation of God here on the earth. How many of you know that Satan hates God? Yeah, yeah. yeah he does. So, now you're the object of his affection, no, of his attention. Amen. And maybe if we taught a little bit more about this in the body of Christ, just maybe. You see, back in the 80s, everybody was like, well, you don't want to over-teach on demons because people start looking under rocks for demons and under trees. That's not, I'm not talking about looking under rocks for demons. I'm not talking about looking at, uh, under trees for demons. What I'm telling you is that there's an adversary out there. And if you're not aware of him, and if you are not, come on, right. privy to his plans, yeah. then he will come in and yeah. he will do that. He will right. steal from yeah. you, he yeah. will destroy you, yeah. and he will kill you yeah. if you yeah. give him opportunity. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, here's what I know about Satan. So we're going to start off here. Check on Sunday morning. We're going to talk about Satan. Yeah, I've got to pull the covers off. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Yep. You're created on a higher order than he right. is. Yes. Amen. He was created as an angel. Right. You're created in the image of Almighty God. Amen. He was created to serve. You right. were created as family. You're the right. family. Amen. You're one of the family. Right. La familia. La familia. Right. <laughs> But he was created to serve. And you're created on a higher order than he is. And when he fell, and Jesus saw the fall, he said, I saw Satan fall. That's Jesus talking. He fell like lightning. It was not this great big struggle in heaven of good versus evil. There was no impending march on the throne of God where God was sitting on his throne going, Whoa, here they come. It was over. In an instant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? But Satan is now bound to this planet. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah. And he still has a God complex. Mm -hmm. He still wants to be God. He still wants to be worshipped as God. Right? right? And, frankly, uh, before God created Adam, he was pretty much running the show down here. Mm -hmm. Well, look at me in that tone of voice. Because here's what I know. When God created Adam out of the dust of the earth and blew into him, his very essence became... It wasn't, wasn't God breathing oxygen. He blew into Adam himself. Why? Because Adam became a speaking spirit. He became a living soul. Just like God is a speaking spirit. And then, can you picture this in the garden where God lays his hands on our pristine father and says, I bless you. Multiply. Subdue the earth. I give you all the works of my hands. You have dominion over the fish of the sea. You have dominion over the bird. You have dominion 
in the earth. And you know what happened to Satan? He's got dominion over me. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's not going to work. <laughs> We're going to have to put a plan together. Right. He still has a God complex. Yeah. Now here's the thing about your adversary. Are you ready? He's not very creative. He didn't have to be. The same things that worked on Adam and Eve are the same things that work today. Yeah. Yeah. Lust of the eye, right. lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. right. pride of life yeah. are his three. Mm. Come on. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. And he didn't need to improve those because they worked very effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then Jesus came to the earth. We just got through celebrating Jesus coming to the earth and going to the cross. Listen to me. And defeated your adversary in this arena. That the position that Satan held, held from Adam's fall until Jesus on the cross. He was the Lord of death. Yeah. Are you with me, church? Yes. yes. Yeah. But then Jesus defeated him. Right. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. That's all. Yeah. Glory to God. Somebody needs to get a hold of this. He defeated what? He defeated your adversary. Why? So you don't have to fight him? Right. Oh, no. Did you hear me rise that up? I was doing the millennial thing. So you didn't have to fight him? <laughs> what? Yeah. There's still a fight to be had. Because the same tricks, the same deceptions, the same things that he used on Adam and Eve are the same things he's using on you now. Right. And so the Bible says that you're not to be ignorant of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're not to be ignorant of his devices. And here's the thing about our adversary. He's not creative. Right. But he has learned some things over a couple of millennia mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about humans. Yeah. And he's very sly, and this is what the Holy Spirit showed me, He's very sly and he's very cunning. And what we do as human beings is we underestimate his slyness, his cunning. Come on. Uh -huh. And we ignore him to our detriment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. our foundational scripture then is found in Isaiah chapter 55. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Isaiah 55 says in verse 11, So my word which goes out of my mouth, it will not return to be void, right. useless, or without result. Amen. Without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I have sent it. Now, you should all be shouting right there because the word of God is successful. Yes, yes. It, is. Yes, it is. Amen. Thank you for those two amens and the three Amen. head shakes. The word of God is successful. Amen. It is never defeated. Amen. Amen. It's never defeated. Amen. The word of God. Somebody say the word of God. The word of God. Is never defeated. It's never defeated. So it's not about that Bible that you have in your lap. Amen. Amen. It's about the applied word of God to your life. Yeah. Yeah. Has never been defeated without ex uh, succeeding in exactly what God has sent you to accomplish in your life. That's right. So it's time for us then, church, to employ the Word of God and the Spirit of God in the manner in which God intended from the beginning, according to this scripture, you need to start sending it. Yeah. Thank you. They're not listening over here. <laughs> you need to start sending the Word of God. Yeah. 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 Listen, if your faith will not move your lips, it will not move your mountain. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. amen? Yeah. So the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And isn't that, isn't that true? Yes. Right? But the way it's translated in, in the Greek and the Hebrew is that it is rhema word, which means it has to be word that's alive to you. It is a spoken word to you. So if you need healing in your body, going and looking at scriptures on finances and resources is probably not going to help you very much. Yeah. Never. That makes sense. Right. right? So, what should you do? Well, the first thing you should do is you should find out what the Bible has to say about your circumstance. Right? Yep. Yeah. What the Bible has to say about your issue. Amen. What the Bible has to say about your body. Yeah. Yeah. What the Bible has to say about yeah. your resources and your finances. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. 
Amen. Listen, if you turn on the news, they're going to tell you about your finances. Oh my God, the market went down! The government finance is going to die! <laughs> this is the worst thing that's ever happened! Yeah. Until Monday. When the next worst thing that's ever happened! <laughs> Until Tuesday. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Or, you can get into the Word of God. I have this translation hanging on my refrigerator. God is ready to overwhelm you with blessings so that even your investments rise. Okay. Investments, you need to start rising. Why? I need them. Yep. Yep. Thank you. I was expecting a little bit more enthusiasm. Right? <laughs> enthusiasms. Enthusiasms. You know, when a man reaches a certain age, he's expected to have some enthusiasms. Right? Right? What's enthusiasm? Well, the way you break down that word, the entomology is entheos. Mm -hmm. What is entheos? God within. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting some enthusiasm from a body of believers that is receiving the truth. Amen. Because Amen. it's the truth that will set you free. You see, I'm not looking for you to shout on my behalf. I spent half the day yesterday shouting. Yeah. Why? Because I was studying this, and I came out of my office, and I was like, whoo! Are you listening? Yeah. So some of you better get a hold of a woo! And you might want to get it across your lips. Yeah. You know, there's power in the shout. Yeah, there is. Because your adversary has so beaten you with circumstances, so beaten you with feelings and emotions, that you find yourselves on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And when somebody says, go ahead and shout, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, raise your hands. Fine. <laughs> well, listen, if Galatians is true, that God is not mocked, whatever you sow, that's what you're going to read. Yeah. Well, Amen. you just reaped on your... Yeah. Glory to God. <gasps> Why do they do this all the time? Because <laughs> we're trying to get you out of the rut you're in. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Huh? We had a business coach. I have to clean it up a little bit. I'll call, I'll call it Lohika. Right? Lohika. Look out! Here it comes again. Lohika. So, who's in Lohikaville? How long are you going to be there? And what are you doing to get out of it? Yeah, right. I came, didn't I? They showed up. I was on time. They made it through the worship. It's all these people going hallelujah. What they always do is hallelujah stuff. For. You know, I just don't feel like it. And that is your problem. Yeah. Is that feelings come along? And say, yeah. Just don't. You know, I'm going to sit it all. And then, oh, if you're a real Christian, you super spiritualize your silence. Mm. I'm just going to sit here and be quiet before the Lord. Mm. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. I'm just mm. going to be. His courts with praise. I'm just going to be quiet. Now listen, there is a time for that. Amen. But here's what I do know. Monday is coming. And if you don't start applying this stuff, Monday's coming. Amen. Expectation opens up the windows of heaven. We're not to be moved by how we feel or what we see. Faith is the womb where expectancy takes its first breath, and faith in God is where expectation takes its first steps. Do you believe that God, come on, is able? Yes. 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 I had this conversation, ministering to a couple, and she said to me, uh, have you ever healed somebody that's had mental issues? And I looked at her and I said, no. She was like, what? I said, I'm, I'm not the healer. Yeah. I said, but I have seen him talk. Yeah. Yeah. Pick it. Bipolar, Amen. schizophrenia, uh, uh, this mental break, I don't even know what to call it, that young lady down in Haiti who was so shattered by the earthquake and losing her family that she just walked around like this, holding onto her auntie's hand. No life, dull, Listless, and I watched the power of God snap that thing off. I watched the power of God restore her mind. I watched the power of God. And now, listen, you know what she didn't do? Hallelujah. She 
He said, Glory, Jay Z. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. She knew what to do. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle of a field. Right. In Haiti. Yeah. She knew. Yeah. She got it. She did it. Glory, Jay Z. Then they swallowed her now. Glory to God. Are you with me, church? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, we laid our hands on her. And I said, you might feel the power of God. You might feel some tingling. You might feel some, and as God is my witness, her husband's hand was on her back, and the power of God went through her. <laughs> Even her husband was like, I could feel that all the way down in here. <laughs> in him. <laughs> right? You know what that told me? Is that he was drained. Yeah. And he needed <clears throat> a, little, a little jump start to his faith. Why? Because when you're living in that natural circumstance, you begin to live to that natural circumstance. Mm -hmm. Who am I talking to this morning? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. We're called to much higher. That's right. Holla Hallelujah. 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 What are you expecting in 2022? Is it going to be your best year to date? Yes. Yes. Ah, physically, yes. Yes. spiritually, yes. financially, emotionally, relationally. Your best year to yes. date. Yes. 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 Well, it doesn't look like yes. much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Started off really rough. Did you see what happened? It, it, it's terrible. I got some some counsel for you. Shut off the television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, shut, shut off your phone. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open up the word. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Great expectation will get great results. So go to Joel chapter two. The word of God is about to come alive in your life. Thank you. Two amens. Three. Amen. 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 <laughs> all right. Hallelujah. Joel chapter 2 is back there where all the pages are stuck together. <laughs> Joel chapter 22 and verse 25. Let's start with these first three words. Be glad then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go any further. Yeah. Be glad then. Be glad. Be glad. Yeah. You be glad. Yeah. Be glad, then. Be glad. Yeah. Somebody's going to get it. Be glad. Yeah. <laughs> Be glad. Hallelujah. Be glad. Yeah. Be glad. He said, Be glad. Yes. You. Be glad. Hey, hey, you. Be glad. Be glad. Be glad. What? Be glad. Be glad. Be glad. Be glad. Then. Yeah. Can we read that next sentence, fragment? Be glad then, you children of Zion. Now we know this from the Bible that Zion is always the church. Yep. Yeah. And there's very few of us on the planet that can be called the church. Mm -hmm. And there's very few of us that can be called children. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, yep. Now everybody has the option to become a child of God, right. and not everybody takes it. Yeah. Yep. Right. Amen. But you did. Amen. Well, Amen. So this particular sentence is specifically to you. Amen. The church. Be glad then, you children of Zion. Yeah. Be glad then. Yes. You yeah. children of Zion. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Be glad then. Be glad then. Yeah. Yeah. All day. What does that mean? You're going to have opportunity not to be glad. Yeah. <laughs> but be glad then. Yeah. Yeah. You children of Zion. If you want to get glad about something, be glad about the fact that your name is written yeah. in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Yeah. Right? That when you step off the planet, you go to glory and you be with Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Be glad then. You children of Zion. And, uh-oh. If I got that much resistance on, be glad. Can you possibly imagine what I'm about to get? <laughs> what? Now listen. The same Holy Spirit that wrote the New Testament is the same Holy Spirit that wrote the Old Testament. Right. So is this the Holy Spirit speaking to you? Yes. 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 Rejoice! <laughs> In the Lord. Yeah. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Yeah. He says, rejoice in the Lord. Yeah. 
Amen. Who's supposed to rejoice? Us. You children. Right. Yeah. Are you children of the Most High God? Yes. Then this is reserved for you. Right. I'm trying to get you through tough times. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is trying to get you through the circumstance that yeah. has been parked in your lap for the last six months. Right. And here's your prescription. It works. Right. Yeah. The doctor didn't prescribe it. The master physician did. Right. Be glad yeah. and rejoice. Rejoice. Yeah. 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 You see, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah, yeah. And that's the reason why you get so spiritual and go, well, I'm just, I got joy, Pastor. It's just real deep. <laughs> way, way deep on the inside. <laughs> Meanwhile, according to Galatians, joy is a fruit of the Spirit that was deposited in your spirit the moment you said, Jesus, be my Lord. Be my God. As a matter of fact, here's what God does for you. He gives you the ability to do this. That's right. uh -huh. What? I didn't know that. Well, that's why we're going down this road. And that's why I'm belaboring it. If we keep going like this, it'll be a two-parter. Because the Word of God is like a hammer that breaks the rock of resistance in pieces. Mm. Yeah. And you have yeah. been taught by the culture. Come on. Yep. Right. I'm going to grin and bear it. I'm just going to bear down. I'm going to... Come on. Yeah. I'm going to blow my way through this bad boy. And God's going, well, you can do that because you have a human will. And the human will is the most powerful, come on, force in the universe. Yeah. Well, I thought God was. You ready? This is why you need to come on on Fridays. Your will can allow you to choose against them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. God can't overcome it. Yep. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. That I, God, there is something that God cannot overcome. It's your will. If you choose against Him, He so values free will, He'll let you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. True. So the Word of God then takes our iron will and bends it to His will. Yeah, amen. amen. Yeah. You got the prescription yet, church? Yeah. Be glad! Hallelujah. Rejoice! In the Lord. Amen. Amen. Woo because he's given you the former rain and the latter rain faithfully. And he'll cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain. In the first month, they're going, what the heck is he talking about rain? Well, you remember that, you know, uh, the Bible was written in, in, in uh, an agrarian society. Right? And this is what I love about God. He'll minister you right where you're at. You see, we don't understand rain. Uh, my folks are off the boat from Ireland, and i got some farmers over here. They, they understand rain. Yeah. Uh, they understand that when you put seed in the ground, the first thing you want to have happen rain. is rain. Mm -hmm. And you'd like consistent rain for about two hours every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you like yeah. that for about the first three, yeah. four weeks until you started seeing it break through the ground. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you had the magic wand, right? You yeah. want that seed, okay. listen to me, church, well watered. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The Word of God is seed. Yeah. That's yes. how Jesus described it. Yep. And it is your job to keep it well watered. Yeah, you want to fight your adversary yeah. properly? Water the seed that's yeah. been planted this Amen. morning. Amen. How do you do that? Yeah. Keep going back to yeah. these scriptures. Yeah. Listen to me. And practice them. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, we really believe, and the Word of Faith Camp in particular... Right? But charismatics, you know, we really believe that you need to be in the Word of God. You need to find what the Word of God says about your circumstance. But then you need to do the next step. You must apply the Word of God. You must do the Word of God. How do I know this? Because James said that if you don't do the Word of God, then your faith is dead. And you're deceived. Why? I did my Bible reading this morning. I did. I've even got a devotional. Yeah. Joel sends it to me every day. <laughs> and I read it every day. I listen. Love Joel. Love his devotional. Joyce, pick your favorite. Read all the devotionals you want to read. That isn't the issue. Satan doesn't yeah. care if you read devotionals. Yeah. Right. What he cares about is if you apply what you're reading. Right. If you begin to become a threat to him, it's because you're taking the word of God and putting it to work yeah. in your life. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's when he begins to have a problem with you. Yeah, right. yeah because now you're coming up Hi. higher. And listen to me, you're bringing him with right. you. Yeah. And he right. can't fight you up there. So guess what? Amen. 
he disengages. Right. Yeah. yeah. And goes and finds that other Christian that's been reading Joel for the last six months and not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't shout me down because the preachers are good. Yeah. That's the truth, and it's the yeah. truth that'll set you free. Right. You're not a hearer of the word of God. You're a doer of the word of God. Somebody say it out loud. I'm a doer I'm of the word. word. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Yep. Yeah. Not being. Right. We're doing this. Right. Do or do not. <laughs> there is no try. Because I hear that. Oh, pastor, I tried that. You did. You tried it? Uh-huh. For a whole week. <laughs> Woo! Here's your participation trophy. Yeah. But you've yeah. got the result of you trying it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know this is strong, but you can take it. Somebody yeah. say, I can take it. I can take it. You've got, listen, Bring you've it. got Bring the it. result. You've got the fruit yep. of trying this. Yeah. You gotta do this. What? Rejoice and be glad. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Well, I don't feel like it. There again is your problem. Yeah. Right. He didn't say rejoice if you feel like it. Right. Yeah. He said rejoice. What does that mean? God, I love you. Yep. Oh, Lord, Hallelujah. you're so good. Oh, your mercy endures forever. You got me. Yep. I know you do. You've got my back. Isaiah 58 and 8 says the glory of the Lord is my rear God. You've got my back. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, thought, I thought I'd get a little bit more. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He says... The latter rain will come down and the former rain they will come down in the first of the month. Listen, when you get that seed in the ground, you want it well watered. And then when it's time for the harvest, right before you harvest that bad boy, you want some more rain. They call it the harvest rain. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah. The harvest rain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say harvest rain. Harvest, harvest rain. rain. Listen right. to your church. It's what we're in right now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 It. yeah. Right now, spiritually speaking, there is harvest going on around the world that has never happened before. Yeah. Before you go to bed tonight, 10,000 people in China will bow their knee at the Lord Jesus Amen. 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 Right? right? North Korea, there was such a move of God that was kept down that right now the North Korean government is sweeping through the country, destroying Christians. Are you listening to me? Yeah. yeah. There's a move of God going on in the United States of America. Out in California, tens of thousands are bowing their knee to the cross yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right? Well, listen, I think that's great for California. Yeah. Yeah. Connect. Yeah. Yeah. Connect. Yeah. Yeah. The first great awakening was here. Mm -hmm. Second great awakening was here. Mm -hmm. Third great awakening, listen to me. Is here. Yeah, amen. yeah, amen. You don't have to wait. That's right. Four months, six months, eight months. Jesus right. said, "Look up the harvest. It's white. It's time yeah, for you to go." It's ready. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. We're yeah. going after him. Yeah. I hope you're up for the work. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I hope, I hope yeah. you're not too comfortable sitting in those cushions because there's right. work to be done. There is. And we're going to go get them. Amen. And amen. you're going to start yeah. seeing them. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be sitting next to you, smelling like Budweiser. Mm -hmm. They're going to be sitting next to you in their doctor jacket. Yeah. 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 We're we'll calling the up and out and the down and out. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be sitting. I said they're going to be sitting next to you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Better yep. get used to it. Yep. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. That that former rain, that latter rain, it's all here. But I find a very interesting thing because we're talking about how 2022 is also a Shemitah year in the yeah. Hebrew calendar, which means it's a year of release and it's a year of recovery. It's also a year of uh, what they call a double Adar. Uh, in order to keep, you know, all of the, the Jewish calendars based on the lunar cycles. And so in order to keep uh, these uh, holy days lined up on the same days every year, sometimes they have a leap year. We're in a leap year right now. It's actually a double Adar, which means a year of double blessing. Right. Amen. Yeah. So it's a year of recovery. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stay with me, church. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a year of release oh, from yeah. death. Yeah. Right. Come on. Yeah. And it's a year of double blessing. Yeah. 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 You go, Pastor, it's May already. No, it's not May already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's not. And if you really are doing this correctly, this actually started in October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yep. You think that God's going to forget about you? No, no. no but you're going to have to engage in it. Right. Yep. You're in a fight. 
Amen. This is all that I, I was I was taught right in Bible school. They said teach the God side first, it makes the man side easier. Yep. Yeah. I'm giving you the God side. Yeah. Right. Here's everything that he's done for you. Right. He's given you the ability to be glad and yeah. rejoice. Even when it's rock hard and difficult and the heaven is right. iron and the, the ground the ground is brass and yeah. ding, 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 it's not, nothing seems to be working for you. He says, Here's your prescription. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Oh, by the way, here's what I'll do then. I'll pour out my spirit in such a way. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what will happen? Well, the Bible is actually very clear. Verse 24. Threshing floors will be full of wheat, yeah. and the vats will overflow with new wine and oil. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 Somebody say bank accounts flowing over. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it means. Yeah. We're talking about you know, go back to the agrarian <laughs> society. Your barns are filled with wheat. Yeah. Your vats are filled with oil, which means yeah. that all of your olive trees didn't cast their olives, but all the olives came out perfect, and now you've got vats of olive oil, which is commerce. It's, yeah. it's money. Yeah. 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 Are you listening to me? Yep. Oh, by the way, yeah. lots of wine. Mm. You go, okay, um, uh, but I thought we weren't supposed to drink. Well, as a Christian, I don't drink because I was delivered from drugs and alcohol. Amen. I don't think it would be a good witness for me to show up and say, Yes, the Lord set me free. <laughs> <laughs> How are you making out? <laughs> How come there's three of you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what does it say? Be not drunk with wine. Which is excess or dissipation, yeah. but be filled right. with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Your vats will overflow with new wine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting concept yeah. because you can't take new wine and put it in old skins. So you must be born again. You need a new skin to put the new wine in. Somebody say he's talking to me. You're a Christian. This is for you specifically. New wine, new skin. Right. I'm a new creation. Amen. So it seems that all of my barns are filled with wheat, and my bank accounts are filled with money, and I am filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. 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 Glory! Amen. Okay. I, can, can you take a little more? Yep. Yeah. Because, and by the way, this is the Bible. Somebody say, the Word of God doesn't return void. Right. It doesn't return void, does it? It, it accomplishes what God sent it to accomplish, right? Yeah. Isn't that what he said in Isaiah 55? Yeah. Yeah. It will do what he sent it to do? Yeah. Well, uh, did you take a look at 26? You'll eat plenty. That's right. Be satisfied. Right. What happens when you eat plenty and you're satisfied? Come on. And praise the name. Of the Lord your God. Dear God. Yeah. Yeah. It would seem there's a direct correlation in this fight praise. that praise is your primary weapon. Praise. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes. Praise is your primary weapon. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Some of you are going to get this. Praise yes. is your primary weapon. Yes. When the adversary yes. comes, praise is the weapon. Yes. Come on. Praise is the weapon. Hallelujah. If you take a look at Ephesians chapter 6, here's a rabbit trail for you. And, and the Apostle Paul, in never to speaking to the culture he's talking to, he uses the Romans' armor to explain to the new Christian that this is what happens when God comes into your life. Right. You take on the helmet of salvation. You know that you're saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the breastplate of righteousness. Which means you've been declared right before God, and you Amen. gird your loins with truth, and your feet are shod with the gospel, with the preparation of the gospel. Right? All of those things are axiomatic. All of those things are true. But he then he says this. He says, "But take up." It's the only thing he says, "Take up." Yeah. He says, "Take up the shield of faith." Tell me the shield of faith will not jump into your hands. Nope. Yeah. Tell me the shield of faith does not come by osmosis. You're going to have to go get it. Somebody say, I'm in the Word. I'm in the word. Say, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God, right? Yeah. And that Word, when it becomes rhema, when you begin to study the Scriptures, you go, you know, uh, yeah, by His stripes I'm healed. Yeah, I know that one. Oh, but did you see this over here in Psalm 103 where it says, uh, He heals all of my sickness and all of my disease. You know, yeah. that's the that's the that's yeah. the one that jumped. That was the one that leaped up on. You know, I'm gonna take that one up today. Right. Yeah, amen. Amen. That's right. right. Oh I told you your enemy is coming. Mm -hmm. Listen, he'll come at you with sickness. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But the sickness he comes at you with on Monday 
the same scripture you use to drive them off might not apply on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, faith Amen. comes by hearing, which means Amen. that faith does not stack up. It does not reside. Amen. You've got to go get it yeah. Right. Yeah. every day. Amen. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. You see, yeah. you, can't, you can't take, uh, as they say, um, old shoes. <laughs> right. Right? And put them on your feet today. Right. Amen. You've got to get new shoes mm -hmm. for today. Faith comes by hearing. Yeah. It doesn't stack up. Just because you've been saved for 10 years doesn't mean you have 10 years of faith. Right, yeah. Amen. But by this time, you should know that every day there is a fight. Every day there is a battle. Right. That's why I go into the scriptures. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm all for reading the devotionals. I am. But if the devotional doesn't address your need, you can yeah. check the box and say, yes, I read my devotional. I can't understand why I'm sick. Well, would ah. you go into the scriptures and get... Yeah. This is what I love about Google. Yeah. Right? I, I, when I started this, we didn't have Google. Right? right? So I'd have to go healing scriptures. I'd have to start running the concordance. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now you go, Google, healing scriptures. Here's 35 scriptures for healing. Yeah. Which translation would you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow! There's 1,600 translations that you can... Come on! Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Faith comes. Yeah, it doesn't stack up. It doesn't reside. you got to go get it. You're going to have to take it up. Yep. Amen. But then it says, the sword of the Spirit. Yeah. We're talking about Ephesians 6 right now. The sword of the Spirit. That's where you go now on the offensive. Everything else has been defense. Right. You listening to me, church? Yeah. yeah. But now, this is everything that God has done for you. He has given you all of this armor to defend yourself. Yeah. That shield of faith will quench Satan's fiery darts. When he throws sickness at you, think. He throws yeah. back at you, think. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It quenches his fiery darts. But that's not good enough. Because Satan is on your territory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. time for you to go on the offensive. Yeah, it's time for you to go into enemy held territory yeah. with yeah. the sword of the Spirit. <laughs> what? What's he talking about? Get the word of God now. Yeah. And you start bringing your adversary into the arena of faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. And drive him off. Right. Mm. Uh, who's hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must yeah. drive him out right. of your life. I have it written Amen. in my notes. It's in there. You can't make a deal with right. your adversary. You can't yeah. compromise with him. You can't say, listen, I'll leave you alone today if you just don't mess with me. No, no, no. Make no compromise with him whatsoever. Right. Drive him off. Amen. No compromise. Right. Are you listening? Yep. Hallelujah. Oh, we got to take some more? Yep. 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 Good. I haven't even gotten through page one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 25. He said, How come you went over to 26? I thought I would get you shouting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 25. I will restore. Yeah. yeah well, you're talking again. Yeah, you will. I will restore. Amen. Now, we've said this to you. That the human will is the strongest force in the universe. Yeah. The human will can actually choose against God. But this is God's talking to you. Yeah, to hallelujah. You. This is God Amen. talking to you. My brother, this is God talking to you. Sister, this is yeah. God talking to you. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. His will. I will restore. Amen. What's been stolen? Peace, mm -hmm. joy, resources, finances, business, relationships. What's been stolen? He said, I will restore. Amen. 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 Can we go on and preach for a minute? Yep. I'll restore years to your life. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Years. Oh, Pastor, I'd like. Called we we're ministering to. She's been in this fight for a decade. Mm -hmm. Longer. I will restore Amen. the years that that thing stole from you. Right. Amen. Amen. You know that locust? Yeah. The swarming one. Yeah. Yeah, you ever been swarmed? Yeah. You ever felt overwhelmed? Yeah. Yeah. And eaten. Oh, I like this. Yeah, the crawling locust. That's gotta be bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine? Mm -hmm. Come on. The consuming locust, right. the chewing locust, right. dear Lord. And then everybody trips on this sentence right here. My army, which I have sent amongst you. Mm -hmm. Now that's a warning to the children of Zion. Yep. 
Disobedience has a price. The wages of sin is death. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. your warning. Yeah, yeah. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. Somebody say, I'm listening, Pastor. I'm listening. I'm listening. I mean, you're hooked in now. He's like, oh man, this is wages of sin. I mean, the yeah. truth. And God sent it? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a difference between a commission and a permission. God has given permission. Yeah. Why? You were in disobedience. Yep. Somebody say, not anymore. Not anymore. Well, I'm going to do what the Word says. I'm going to do what the Word That was weak. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm going to do I'm gonna what, do. what the Word says. The word if says. the Word says, be glad and rejoice, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, you can expect to be chewed. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you can expect to be consumed. Yeah. Otherwise, you can expect to be swarmed and landed upon. Yeah. You were warned. Yeah. yeah. Some of you are going through this right now and you're trying to explain it in the natural. Mm -hmm. I'm doing, I, I, are you doing what the Word says to do? Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Got quiet in this Presbyterian church. Oh. But this is where rubber meets the road. Yeah. See, Monday's coming. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now he says in 26, you'll eat plenty, you'll be satisfied, and you'll praise the name of the Lord your God. He gives you the prescription before, Amen. and he gives you the prescription after. Yeah. You praise, praise the name of the Lord your God, who what? Who has dealt wondrously mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. And my people shall never be put to Amen. shame. Amen. And Amen. And then you'll know that I am in the midst yeah. of Israel. Yeah. I am present. I've run out of time. It's going to be a two-parter. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Somebody say, God is with me. God, God is, is with me. me. You see, He promises you, church, mm -hmm. never to leave you. Right. And never to forsake you. Right. Right? Yeah. And here's, you know, this is what I love about uh, the Holy Spirit of God. He's coaching us from the sideline. Yep. The yep. same coach that coached Jesus is coaching us right now. He says, listen, if you're in difficulty, if you're in trial, if you're in challenge, if you're in it, praise me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Praise Hallelujah. me. Amen. Oh, that, that, it, can't be that, it can't Hallelujah. be that easy. Really? Pray, really? Yeah. I'm in it and praise yeah. that. Do you hear the coach? Yeah. Yes. His glory has landed on me. My hands have gone yeah. numb. Are you listening to him? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you listening to him? Yeah. Right. So he's just, praise me. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, just praise. What? Just praise? No, no, no. It's not just praise. Mm -hmm. The Lord is good. Yeah. The Lord is good. Time. His mercy. Good. His mercy. It is yours forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Oh Lord, I praise you. Amen. Lord, I give you glory. You might want to try that. You know, let's do a little exercise. Here. Let's get your lips moving. Let's get your hands moving. God, I worship you. Lord, I bless you. You are so good. Hallelujah. I might have been in it, Lord, but your word says to praise you and you'll bring me out. Hallelujah. The steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. You're ordering my steps through this crisis, through this storm, through this difficulty. I'm coming up higher. Things are improving. My path is getting brighter and brighter. Hallelujah. It's getting better and better. I go from one level of faith to the next level of faith. I go from one level of glory to the next level of glory. Glory to God. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the country. I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed coming out. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. And if you know the word blessed, then you'll know that it is translated, I am empowered yeah. to prosper. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. And I have good success. Yeah. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are a blessed people. We're here uh, Thursday for prayer. There's some special guest ministry happening on Friday night as my wife and I will be out celebrating 27 years of wedded bliss. It's got to be like a special trophy. I'm like 27 years ago, really something that she has for holy smokes. But uh, yeah, we're going to go uh, away for a day or two and uh, yeah, recover. Yeah. Yeah. Have some fun. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. How about you? Yeah. Amen. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Glory to God. Well, we'll see you Thursday for prayer. Amen. Amen. You are a blessed people.